Sea grape, healthier steps. Sea grape. Wagwan? Wemi Likla H. Steppers Dem Day? An unready fire next shelling article? Lol yes, the little Jamaican Creole slash Patwa just rolled off my fingers as my mind conjured it all. But as translation high. Where are my little H. Steppers? Y'all ready for another amazing article about sea grape? This fruit can be found on one of the things Caribbean people can brag about its beaches. So, if you even live in Florida you must have noticed this fruit minding its own business and enjoying the view it was provided with on its tree or shrub. But don't try to pick it because in some places in Florida it is heavily protected by laws. This is because it helps to protect the beach from dune erosion, therefore, you are advised to stay away from these trees or shrubs that are at the shorelines if you don't have a permit. In Jamaican Creole new trouble way neva trouble you. Or see and blind, hear and deaf which when translated means, don't trouble what didn't trouble you or pretend like you don't know it exists. In essence, leave it, alone guys. But the good news is that if your state or country doesn't prohibit you from consuming the fruits at the beaches then that's A+, plus. but it would be recommended to just plant it yourself or purchase the fruits. Without further ado, let's dive right in. What is sea grape? Sea grape tree. This tropical and perennial plant is vastly known to be grown on many beaches, thus, making it an easy crop to harvest if you live near the ocean or sea. Sea grapes are known to be native to Mexico, South Florida, and the Caribbean, especially, to the greater and the lesser Antilles like Barbados and Bermuda. The sea grape trees or shrubs have broad leaves that can grow up to about 13 inches that are red in color when young but after maturity, it changes to green with red veins. While the overall tree can grow to about 55 feet in height. Paul right? Does it bloom flowers? Yes, it is a flowering plant that blossoms in clusters of off-white slash ivory slash white flowers. Sea grape belongs to the Polygonaceae family, buckwheat family fun fact, sorrel is a part of this family. Where it is scientifically called Cacaloba uvifera. So, sea grape or bay grape is just a common name that is used for the fruit. Some other aliases include, Caribbean grape, bow pigeon, Caracas quino, Cacaloba quino, Colombian quino, hopwood, Jamaican quino, mangrove grape, platter leaf, South American quino, West Indian quino, wild grape, and wild mangrove grape. The plant is dioecious, meaning that they distinctive from male and female in separate organisms. But pollinators, for example, bees, are no doubt up for the job and do a great job too. So, fretting about pollination shouldn't be of too much concern. The fruit. These are small grape-like fruits stemming from its evergreen shrub or tree, that is grown popularly on beaches. They normally grow in clusters like grapes and are said to have a similar flavor to that of muscadine grapes. Hence, the name sea grape because it's grown near the sea and it resembles some properties that grapes have. What do sea grapes taste like? Sea grape or bay grapes typically have an oceanic taste that is sometimes described to be fresh, but it also has this potent sweet and acidic flavor too. The skin is normally purple and it has less pulp because the light brown seed in each takes up its space, just like in Barbados cherries, which we did an article on. This is not to be mixed up with green caviar which is also known as sea grapes. If you ever tried seaweed then bingo. That's what that sea grape tastes like. It can give off a tad bit of a salty flavor too due to the ocean slash sea. This kind of sea grapes is found in Asia that is called Kalerpal and Tilifira. They look like pebble bubbles that are green and burst in your mouth where some people love that effect. But let's get back on track. Green caviar is for another time and who knows could be soon too. What do sea grapes look like when mature? So, normally they are green in color when young but once mature they have a purple color. Where can I buy sea grape? I will be honest, it will be difficult to get these fruits, especially, if you live in an area that they aren't grown. Even at that stage where it is grown. You will hardly find it at your supermarkets or farmers market. Uses Some popular uses for sea grapes are Beverages Jams Skincare It's bark for furniture Dying Health profile for sea grape Honestly speaking, this fruit is no doubt and very often neglected or overlooked but I've made it a point of duty to ensure that I shed some light on the magnanimous fruit. Sea grape is said to contain a good source of vitamin A, vitamin C, calcium, protein, zinc, and iron. It also contains a high level of omega-3 fatty acids too. Other components. Alpha tocopherol, vitamin E. Vitamin K. Riboflavin, vitamin B2. 
vitamin B9, folate, biotin, copper, iodine, magnesium, manganese, pectin, potassium, phosphorus, sodium, 8 health benefits of sea grape, antioxidant properties. So, it has free radical scavenger hunters. Fortify bones, muscles, and joints. Helps to strengthen eyesight and the heart. May help prevent hypertension and diabetes. Prevents anemia. Helps prevent constipation. Helps with skin and hair health. Helps with weight loss. Until next time be safe or as Jamaicans say walk good.